uh, hello everyone this is magan so in this video i will discuss about the different methods for thin film fabrication basically i will focus on the chemical method of uh, thin film fabrication so this video is going to all about the thin film fabrication because this area is one of the great area or you can say large area of research so fabricating of high quality film the storm high quality involve a lot of things so you will be get uh, uh, its uh, idea about how what, what mean by high quality thin film so whatever may be the techniques people are using i will take uh, three to four uh, techniques in this video so before going to the uh, description of about the particular uh, type of thin film fabrication process so we have a, we should have a knowledge about the process available uh, with us so basically whenever you are going for a thin film fabrication you may have two methods with you like for the chemical method or it can be a physical method so basically chemical method suggests that your uh, thin film will be uh, be from the any precursor which is consists of different chemical or physical method you have to you have uh, sophisticated uh, vacuum chamber and uh, in this method basically impurities uh, 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 addition of the impurities to the system is very less so which is sophisticated so if you see the chemical method then it involves spray paralysis uh, it will involve spray paralysis it is a technique i will describe so gel method is one of the uh, great and simple method basically chemical method are very cost uh, low cost method low cost method and it's easy to handle okay it's easy and less time taking so but physical method is very high ta time taking high time taking high cost cost is high because you need vacuum basically most of the techniques are uh, occurring in a vacuum at 10 to the minus 6 star which is the ultra high vacuum so for this purpose the vacuum chamber price is very large in this in this area so people are using this chemical method in order to uh, fabricate the thin film in a low cost and the easy way so then chemical uh, vapor uh, chemical bar deposition is there which is known as cbd filler is there successive ion layer adjustment reaction it is just uh, easy techniques to fabricate thin film the hydrothermal techniques is there ALD is there, atomic layer deposition is there, chemical deposition is there, which is famously known as CBD. This CBD can have three types like LP CBD, P CBD, and uh, one is there. I don't have any idea. Uh, one is the LP CBD, low pressure uh, chemical vapor deposition, one is the uh, P CBD, pressure, uh, LP CBD, P CBD, and uh, one is there. The electrode deposition is there, which is basically consists of the Faraday law of electrolysis. So electro deposition is there. So basically these are the few important techniques that people are using to fabricate the thin film through chemical method. And physical methods include vacuum evaporation which is thermal evaporation you can say. Then electron beam evaporation you are using electron beam to evaporate a material on the substrate. Then laser beam deposition is there. Uh, and uh, ARC beam evaporation is also there. Ion beam evaporation is there. So basically these are the different sources electron, lasers, ARC and ions. Okay. So by using this source, you are just uh, evaporating your uh, material inside the chamber. This material will get evaporated and deposited on the substrate surface. So this is the process of evaporation. Okay. Then sputtering. This sputtering may have magnetic, uh, magneton sputtering or reactive sputtering or ion beam sputtering. Okay. Sputtering is, it is also same. You have to, you have to take your material, which is a target material then you have to insert every high energetic electron into the material then the material will be get spotted from the surface and will deposited on the substrate which is placed opposite to the target material okay so in this uh, video i will describe few techniques from this chemical method only to fabricate the thin film technique so here i am taking spin coating technique uh, spin coating technique which is very uh, famous and very easy also spin coating okay this is spin coating technique so basically spin coating technique consists of two uh, three to four steps this is the uh, 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 instrument diagram basically this instrument uh, are available in different form here the simple form is taken so if you see then vacuum is here and you have to this is the substrate holder you have to place your substrate which is basically a glass or you can have a ft or it or substrate a piece of glass only you have to place it over this uh, nozzle and you have to start your pump rotary pump is there rotary pump will provide a pressure of 10 to the power minus 3 turn okay so by this pressure you can suck your glass substrate in a downward direction so your substrate that is glass is uh, fixed in this position and you have to this is the first step you have to start your pressure and you have to 
shock the substrate from downward direction so it will be a stable position then you have to insert your liquid which is the chemicals or precursor on this glass like this drop wise manner you can add this liquid solution or you can a precursor scientific word is precursor on this glass then you have to rotate the uh, rotate the this uh, rotor because this is programmable machine you have to set your rpm that is rotation per minute and time of rotation and acceleration this three parameter you can ha you have to set in this program rpm with the rotation per minute basically you can take 3000 to 4000 per minute rotation uh, depending upon the concentration of the liquid and the substrate nature and uh, how, how much thickness film you desire so depending upon your uh, requirement you have to set this parameter you have to optimize this parameter in the lab then time of deposition also you can deposit your material for 30 second or 10 second 40 second depending upon your requirement then oscillation also you can take 20 meter per second square or 30 meter per second whatever you need after setting this uh, parameter you have to start your program so that this uh, uh, rotor will start rotating in a clockwise direction so whenever this rotation will start your liquid will be dropped like this manner it will spread over this substrate this is the substrate okay this is the substrate and uh, this is your uh, uh, film fabrication after, after the deposition of this liquid so it will spread over the substrate so you will get this uh, film like this so after that you have to heat this uh, you have to take this uh, film out and have to annul or you can have a have to provide a heat treatment to the material in order to grow the crystallinity in the material and the evaporation of the uh, organic solvent or a different kind of solvent that you are taking in the precursor will be get evaporated so your material in the pure phase will be formed on the substrate so this is a basic fundamental technique through which you can fabricate a thin film within few sec few minutes or in a simple way and a very low cost way okay so this is a spin coating technique the second is sealer it is basically known as successive iron layer adsorption reaction so if from the figure you can see there is four different uh, 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 precursor are taken one is co co2 uh, this this is uh, something different because this is a specific precursor okay this is a specific cobalt chloride and a sodium sulfide so whatever you need you have to choose your precursor suppose you are trying to uh, fabricate a thin film of cds cadmium sulfide so you need a cds uh, source and a sulfur source okay you need a cds source and a sulfur source so you have to uh, take the cds containing precursor in this in this uh, beaker and sulfur containing uh, precursor in this uh, beaker and this is the deionized water this is the deionized water which is known as di water okay this is di water and this is di water you have to uh, place your or uh, keep your uh, this is substrate uh, now film is deposited here in the black portion but initially it is only a glass piece okay this is only a glass piece before the deposition so you have to take this glass piece and insert here after that you have to rinsing here uh, what happens in during the rinsing the extra atom that is deposited on the substrate okay or uh, in a un non uniform manner will be rinsed out from the surface only the atoms in a periodic or in a particular arrangement will be available then then after that you have to keep or uh, insert your glass up into this precursor containing crucible so finally cation will be inserted into the system from this crucible an anion will be introduced to the system through this precursor so surface reaction will be there after that the atom will be deposited or uh, nano structure will be created in the substrate in a particular manner so the uh, residue or impurities whatever available in the system will be gone out by rinsing in the final crucible after that you can have your uh, thin film like this so this is the final picture of a thin film because this portion is get uh, deposited with the material and this is the blank or you can empty whatever portion you want to deposit you can deposit by this way so this is the schematic uh, this is the original instrument image you can see your four uh, precursor containing crucible are placed here an automated machine is there a programmable setup is there you can go you can optimize your parameter that is time of deposition is important hard uh, how much time you want to keep your substrate inside the precursor is important because depending upon that time your film thickness will be different film property will be different okay so in this way you, you can have your film on the substrate after getting this film on the substrate you have to annul it that is heat treatment should be given in order to grow the crystal end of the material it depends upon the material okay if this need uh, the hot motor of temperature for the crystal end, it will vary from metal to metal you have to see or you have to optimize the uh, this property by doing the xrd uh, then two techniques are taken one is cbd and spray coating 
so cbd is basically chemical bath deposition so it is very easy this is basically what happens you have to take both cationic uh, precursion and anionic precursion in a common crucible but in cellar you have to take the cationic precursor and anionic precursor in a different precursor in a different crucible but here you have to take both the cations and anion in a single crucible then you have to keep put your substrate this is the glass substrate this is the substrate you have to keep your substrate or insert your substrate into this uh, precursor containing crucible okay here is the cdl chemi cds chemical cds chemical means cadmium sulfide containing precursor because the author is interested to grow the cds uh, nanoparticles of cds film on the substrate that's why they have taken the cds containing precursor so whatever material you need you can take into the precursor then the concentration of precursor is important whatever concentration you desire you can uh, make the amount of stoichiometry calculation and can take the amount then you have to insert this glass substrate into the precursor containing crucible you have to uh, if this a magnetic stirrer is there so you have to uh, maintain the rpm so that it will be get steered inside the solution so homogeneity solution will be created so after dipping the substrate into the solution you can take out this uh, substrate so that the uh, uh, film will be deposited in the both the side of the glass of it okay so if you are interested to grow the one side or grow the film on one side then um, you can just cover the other side by thermal tape or whatever availability is there you can just avoid the thing so finally you can have your thin film in this method so second is uh, last one is the spray coating spray coating is very easy technique you can see uh, in this technique what happens you have to take the uh, solutions uh, inside the this uh, uh, inside this nozzle so inside this nozzle this is a nozzle this is a nozzle inside you have to take your precursor chemicals then the substrate is there here substrate is there but important thing is that substrate have to place on the hot plate basically hot plate is a thermal for the heating purpose it is a, just like a induction that we are using for the uh, cooking so you have to place your substrate which is a glass or fco on the hot plate so will the substrate will get heated then you have to uh, flash the nozzle so that your solution get evaporated and deposited on the substrate side okay so the, in this portion your film will be grown okay so after that you can give the heat treatment for the crystallization of the material so this is very phagy and very ta less time taking uh, chemical methods for film fabrication so there are three to four techniques also there deep coating is there also there is the uh, hydrothermal is there so depending upon the requirement or availability you can fabricate a high quality film so the term high quality is uh, the film is high quality high quality this sense that the sense is like the grains are well connected the grain is well connected because the polycrystalline film has grown basically uh, well connected okay second is the surface roughness should be minimum roughness should be minimum that is well crystallization should be there crystallization should be well so this quality and uh, also if the uh, IV characteristic is coming well, so morphology is very nice, structure is grown very well. So this kind of things involve uh, or conclude that the film is a very high quality nature. So thank you for uh, watching my video. This is all about the few fundamental ideas. Those are uh, interested to work in the experimental condensed matter physics. May they have the work in the thin film fabrication. So they can get some basic fundamental idea how people are working in this area. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much for your support and help. Thank you.